Good morning, good evening, good afternoon. Welcome back to Canon for the TV, uh, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. I'm a little bit uh, distracted. Um, I've just received some um, some breaking news within the last um, few moments, but we're going to get into this um, short, sharp show on the other side of this music intro. Yeah, welcome back uh, to Canon for the TV, uh, the channel for Arsenal fans uh, all over this world. And um, yeah, I was just just within the last uh, few minutes, I've just received some some breaking news, whether it is true or not. Uh, Emil Smith Rowe apparently has been offered uh, to Lazio. Yes, yes, City outside Lazio have been offered a chance to sign. Arsenal's Emma Smith Rowe this month. So literally, just a few, uh, well, actually, just a couple of days to go before this transfer window closes. But I'm not sure how long the European transfer window opens for. But um, it said that uh, Smith Rowe has been linked with a host of clubs, as we know, across England. And a while, he was uh, previously playing regularly for Arsenal. Now, under Mikko Arteta, his uh, stock has fallen in recent uh, seasons and has now remains a bit part player uh, in the side. Uh, La, La Lazio Simeon Noir has reported that the Englishman has been offered to Lazio through intermediaries uh, as the Bielsenski uh, uh, looked to sign another winger this January. Smith Rowe can operate out wide, even though he is best when operating more centrally in the forward areas. Now, Lazio, despite the need for an option in the wide areas, have rejected the chance to sign Smith Rowe because of his physical um, his physicality uh, issues recently. The 23-year-old has made only seven Premier League appearances this season, assisting in one. Uh, he has played three times in the Champions League, but he has missed multiple uh, game time due to in knee injuries and is also uh, injured uh, for a stretch of last season. So that's what's happened within the last um, uh, few minutes Apparently, uh, coming out hot of the press, the Emma Sifro apparently has been um, offered to 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 Lazio. Um, just just a little kind of uh, appendage to this. On the easy talk, remember last week Friday when I spoke to Lee, one of our panelists, when we spoke about Emma Sifro, and I asked the question: Would he not be best suited if if he could not cement his place in the starting eleven? Will he not be best suited to play abroad? And look at that news there. So, hot off the press, Emma Smith-Rowe has been offered to Lazio. Anyways, do you know what? Let me let me, let me me do my... I've got a bit of a headache. <laughs> I've got a bit of a headache on this one. Oh, dearie me. Anyway, anyway, let, let's kind of get in the, um, the, the main uh, segment uh, I wanted to do uh, today, actually. And actually, I was going to talk about um, your manager. I don't watch Arteta, Momiko Arteta um, press conferences anymore. I, I, I don't. I don't watch them anymore. But um, this one kind of caught um, my eye. Uh, I had been listening to some rumblings during my lunch break about the manager. Arsenal manager has no plans to leave despite shock Barcelona reports. Now, reports in Spain claim that Gunnar's boss uh, was keen to replace Xabi Alonso uh, at the Nouveau camp. Reports in Spain on Sunday night claim that Arteta is ready to step down and make, uh, or oh, sorry, take Barcelona a job in the summer after Xabi, um, not Xabi Alonso, Xabi uh, announced that he's leaving the Catalan uh, Giants. But Mikel Arteta remains uh, committed to Arsenal, where he's contracted until next year. Uh, Arteta, who took over from Arsenal uh, from Unai in 2019, uh, came uh, through the Barcelona Academy and has often been linked with a move to the Nouveau Camp, his boyhood club. Uh, but he has always played down links to Barcelona and stressed he's committed to Arsenal. Now, I saw the press conference that he did where he, he was asked, you know, oh, so about the players, any outs? Are you leaving? And he said, what? Huh? Excuse me? He knew what they were talking about. He knew what they were talking about because he had read the, the reports and apparently that he is angry at fake news. Well, anyway, the, 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 cut a long story short, he's not going anywhere. Um, he'll be here at least until 2025 and beyond that. For all of you who are thinking, 
Arteta out, he's not going anywhere. He's not going anywhere. And insofar as saying that he's shocked at the news, not shocked. He's not shocked. So there are two two bits of um highlighted news there for you. Oh my goodness, what's going on on this Monday Monday show over here? Anyhow, we go onwards. We go onwards. So the next news segment is, is in regards to um Victor Osimhen, Osimhen, Osimhen. <coughs> now Victor tipped to snub Arsenal and Chelsea apparently due to transfer for an unexpected deal. Victor Osimhen has been tipped for a move to Juventus. But the club's former player, uh, uh, Alessandro Martelli, despite huge Premier League interest in the striker, Osimhen uh, originally penned a contract that included a hefty release clause, but is, a, what, is one that's likely of Chelsea and Man United may be happy to pay. Uh, now, though, through Juventus are being linked up as a potential destination with a club seeking a prolific forward, although the player's release clause isn't valid for Napoli's domestic rivals. Now, I have done a video. The video will be coming up in the next hour and a half, so I'm not going to go into the greater depths, update news in regards to Victor Osimhen. One thing's for sure, he will not be coming to Arsenal. We got onwards. The last uh, news segment... <clears throat> Uh, okay, let's have a look here. So I've just been just been distracted there. Well, what's going on, man? Um, so we go to on to injury news. Injury news. Injury news. Thomas Party. Uh, again, a, a short snippet of Mick Arteta's press conference. Thomas Party will not be available for the Nottingham Forest game. He won't be available. Uh, Declan Rice, uh, there's confidence that Declan Rice uh, has shaken off the injury, which took him out uh, of the Palace game. The England's uh, uh, midfielder felt uh, his hamstring and joined the rest of the squad in enjoying some time off at the start of last week. So he's 50 50, I would say, or 60 40, or 70 40, or 70 30. Likely that he will be playing against uh, Nottingham Forest. Thomas Party, we just said, um, have a welcome party back in first team training, but he will not be available. I repeat, he will not be available to play against Nottingham Forest unless something else happens. And um, you know what? Uh, that is that. We'll come to an end uh, on on uh, the news segments on this Monday evening show over here on Canon for the TV. Oh my goodness! So on the top of the show, man, let me go back to this. Uh, the breaking news, at least, on this show, is uh, Emo Sifro has been offered to Lazio. Yes. Oh, my goodness. Uh, come in live chat. Let me know your thoughts about that and also about the injuries. Thomas Party would not be available for the Nottingham Forest game tomorrow. And talking about tomorrow, I will be doing an instant post-game reaction tomorrow. So join me on that as well. But you know what? Um, let's kind of close this for a second. Close this for a second or remove it for a second. Uh, let's go into a live chat. I think there's only been one comment. Uh, oh, here we go. Uh, loan or, or permanently? Uh, permanently. Permanently. Although, from what the reports I've seen there, there is no talk about uh, monies so far. But hot off the press. Elmo Smith Rowe, man. Anyway, anyway, let's go into our Twitter feed. I see if there's been anything uh, they done thus far. Sorry about this. Let me just quickly check this. Uh, right, that's going to have to wait a while. Right. Okay, there are no... Well, there's no tweets. Um, there are no... Sorry about this. Okay. Again, hot off the press, man. Hot off the press, uh, Emil Smith Rowe has been offered uh, to Lazio. <clears throat> Breaking news within the last uh, few minutes. City R side Lazio have been offered a chance to sign uh, Arsenal's Emil Smith Rowe this month. Smith Rowe has been linked to what we know of a host of clubs across England. And while he was previously playing regularly for uh, Arsenal and Mikel Arteta, his stock has fallen. You know his valuation. But um, this report there, uh, coming from another platform, says that he has been linked with a move or at least signed for a Lazio. I, I kind of get the feeling that his style of football or the way that he plays may be suited uh, to play um, abroad, not so much in the Premier League. Right, okay. Uh, what else was I going to say? 
Um, yeah, so a quick heads up what's going to be happening over the next few days. So like I said, um, I'm going to be doing the instant post-game reaction tomorrow. Uh, join me at 9.30 p.m. UK time. And then we go on and we do just various other live shows and lead us up to doing the Easy Talk on Friday, 7.30 p.m. UK time. Right. Okay. I think we're, we're almost done on this one. Uh, what I can do um, is just go back in reverse order. Uh, reports have been unfounded that your manager, Mikko Arteta, will not be leaving Arsenal. Uh, apparently, Mikko Arteta said during a press conference that he was quite upset. He wasn't upset. He wasn't upset. He wasn't even surprised. And expect to see uh, your manager, Mikko Arteta, minimum here uh, until his contract, the current contract ends in 2025, which is next year. This year's just started. And beyond that, at least for another, I'll say, two and a half, three more years. Uh, and also, we pretty spoke about uh, Victor Ossiman will not be coming to Arsenal, so expect him to snub Man City, if he ever was linked to Man City, Chelsea, Man United, and of course, Arsenal. And where he, where do you think he's going to be going to? Juventus. That's going to be his next likely destination to Juventus. Um, we've got, what's today's date? We've got two more days to go. Two more days to go, and um, we're not going to sign any players. We're not signing any players in this January transfer window. That's right. I said it. People are going to get upset, but I don't care. All right. Um, are we done? I think we are finished on this one. Yeah, we're finished. Move this. Okay, so thank you for joining me on this rather short, sharp show. I've got uh, some other bits and pieces I need to get on with. Uh, more important stuff than just podcasting. Podcasting. Uh, I have other priorities, just put it that way. Um, the next time you'll see me will be tomorrow, uh, 9.30, doing the post-game reaction. Arsenal versus Nottingham Forest. We will be without Thomas Party. Declan Rice is 50-50. And everybody else is 100%. There you go. All right. Until then, this has been Canon Fodder, the channel for Arsenal fans all over this world. <laughs>